What is going on everyone? Glad to have each and every one of you joining me today for another exciting video. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button. It will only take two seconds out of your life, I promise. And you'll be jo joining a growing community of some amazing people. Guys, we recently started a Patreon and can really use your help and support to keep the channel going. I will leave a link in the description down below. I am also in the works of making a video on how to survive an EMP. If you don't know what an EMP is, you need to research it immediately. It will knock out everything that is electronic and send us back to the Stone Age. However, there are ways you can EMP-proof EMP things like your car. So be on the lookout for that one, guys. Now, without further ado, let's dive into today's video. We have exposed everything from the Illuminati, false flag attacks, and more. However, in today's video, I want to give you guys some knowledge that can keep you and your family alive once shit hits the fan. We can feed our brain with all the knowledge of our enemy, but what good does that knowledge do for us if we can't survive the battle against the enemy? I have decided that I wanted to bring some videos to the channel that will show you not only how to survive the end times, but I want to make a promise to you guys to create one video each week that will show you tips and tricks to survive these end times. So not only will you be getting information about the enemy, but you also be getting information on how to survive the enemy. These tips I will be sharing with you can boil down to life and death. And we must face it, people. That has the knowledge we are going to have the upper hand. And the skills to make it through these rough times. Knowledge is power. And we must use this knowledge to our advantage. Number one, have a plan. This might sound like a no-brainer to some. However, there are so many people that don't have a plan in place. No going to your mom and dad's doesn't count for a plan. You need to draw an independent plan for you and your family. Grab a map of your local state and scout out places away from population that could work to your advantage. Go to the local site before things go wrong. Don't wait until. Scope it out and make sure the things that are going to work out for you and your family. And check up on it every so often to make sure it hasn't occupied others. In these times, people are going to be more desperate than ever. You need to realize living in a city or apartments is asking for trouble. Find a second place, even if it's in the woods, away from the population. Get as detailed as possible and plan ahead. An ideal place would be somewhere in the mountains, close to rivers so you can fish and hunt for food. Number two, natural herbs. In these times, you're not going to be able to have antibiotics, Tylenol, and other medicines we take for granted each day. However, with a little bit of research, you will be able to find that there are a lot of natural native herbs that grow right in your backyard. Everything from natural pain medicine to vitamins can be found easily with some time and research. As I stated before, knowledge is power. And in these times, you're not going to be able to use Google, so research now. For example, dandelions can be used to treat gallbladder and liver problems. It is very rich with vitamin A, C, D, and B. The root of the dandelion can be brewed into some boiling water and made into some tea. Number three, can and can some more. Dried beans have a shelf life of over 30 years. That's a really long time. Some people consider beans the ultimate survival food. High in protein and easy to store. They also come in many varieties and can be combined with other foods like rice, which has a shelf life of 25 years itself. Once the market crashes, it is going to be purely up to you to grow your own food and keep your own family alive. That garden is going to take time to grow, so it is very important that you get stocked up till then. You might not be eating gourmet food every night, but your body will get the protein and vitamins it needs and you will survive. Number 4. Water even with several years of food, a person can only go a few days without water. Knowing how to get water can mean life or death within hours. Even in the most barren places, if you know where to find water, you will be just fine. And in fact, finding water can come to more of a surprise to you than you might have thought. Water should be priority number one, other than shelter. Find a tarp or something you can catch rainwater in and get it up immediately. Start with the obvious, looking for streams, rivers, etc. I recommend when you create your family plan, you look for a location that is going to have a stream or two around it. There is nothing like spring water. You can also get water from morning dew. And if you ever see a damp spot on the ground, dig around it. And there is a good chance you will dig into a puddle. Remember to always boil your water so it is safe to drink. Number 5. Pack a to-go bag. It is extremely important that when something unexpected happens like an EMP, you and your family already have a survival backpack and ready to go. Getting a head start on everyone else is extremely important. Also, be sure to bring an extra backpack for looting and gathering supplies. Stock up on batteries, flashlights, and headlamps. You can go with whatever flashlights you want, but just for $1 at Walmart, you can get the bright LED flashlights, and the headlamps are also a dollar. Stock up on these. You are going to need them. 
Remember, you only need what is going to keep you alive. Bringing that iPhone isn't going to do you any good for when the battery dies. It will be useless anyways. I know. It hurts. Number 6. Build a shelter. Getting a camp for you and your family will be extremely important. Many of us don't have land out in the country, so we have to travel there and set up camp away from the population and ride the storm out. If you are going to set up a tent, that is fine, but keep in mind this will only work for so long. Educate yourself on building from what you have around you. Have someone in the family study carpentry and hand tools to help out with this. You will be surprised with what you can build with just a little bit of knowledge. Study books and go online and learn how to build these shelters. In most cases, it only takes one man to build these, and if you have more than one person, that's even better. Number 7. Learn to start a fire. Fire is the most important. Without it, you can't cook any of your food, boil your water, stay warm, and so on. I highly recommend you learn to start a fire as soon as possible. This is one of the skills I believe everyone should know how to do, and is essential to staying alive. A simple YouTube search and some practice will get you a long way, and up to speed. Number 8. Carry a compass. Knowing where you're headed is key. Learn how to use a compass and always have more than one, just in case one gets damaged or broken. Short and sweet. Number 9. Make true friends. You are more successful to stay alive with others. You don't want too many people, but you want a solid number. That way each person can focus on specific jobs within your small community. Never go out alone. Always take someone with you, even if you are just gathering wood for the day. Number 10. Learn firearms. Firearms will play a key role during these times, and we will all need to learn how to properly use them. Don't give your guns up to the government like they want you to. Stock up on rifles and a few handguns. Not only will you going to use these for hunting to feed you and your family, you will need to use these for protection. There are bad people in this world, and they are going to want what you have. You can't have that. You must keep you and your family safe at all costs. We all hope it never comes down to this, but just in case it does, you'll be ready.